Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to MK11. Coming at you guys with another tutorial slash guide video. In this video, we are going to be discussing uh, command throws and the concept of tick throws. So, just to, you know, get into the jargon a little bit, what is a command throw? So, a command throw is any throw move that is done with an actual input. So any throw that is not done by uh, pressing L1 in either direction. Some characters that have command throws are Kano, I think the Collector has one, Baraka has one, Gears. All of these characters possess command throws. With Kano, it is down, back, forward and triangle. Does fairly good damage. It's a throw move, so it cannot be uh, blocked. The only way it can be avoided is by jumping. I think this is... I'm fairly sure this is a mid command throw. Oh, it's not. Okay, well, that's interesting. Uh, MKX had mid command throws and high command throws. Uh, the mid ones couldn't be avoided by ducking. Kano had those mainly in MKX. But yeah, they can only be avoided, apparently by either ducking or jumping. So command throws are pretty useful because just like normal throws, they are really great for mixing up your opponent. So for example, if Devora is blocking, anytime I can go in. And again, it adds an extra layer to the offense. Plus, as you can see, regular throw does 140 damage. His command throw, if you amplify it, does 180. So we're talking about significant damage here. But one of the things that a lot of people wonder and kind of ask questions, to be fair, when I was playing MKX, I didn't know how to do this at first either, is how you do this goddamn input. If you check the special move input, it's down, back, forward, triangle. And if you try it and you don't know the trick, quote unquote, it can seem really difficult to do. Again, I had a ton of trouble with this uh, when I first picked up MKX, but... A little trick that I found. God, I don't even know where. See, I'm even messing it up there. God damn. Okay. Apparently, I can only do it in one direction. There we go. There we go. Just need to practice. In terms of, like, execution, this is probably about as advanced as MK gets. Again, this game is not really, like, input heavy. There's no dragon punches, quarter circle motions, all that. But this, this can get a little bit tricky. So essentially, the trick is the following. So the input is down, back, forward, triangle. You have to think of it as two separate stages for the inputs. To think of it as down, back, and forward one. I did it a little bit too slow there, but as you can see, if you kind of hear what I'm doing, you have a huge input window. I'll try moving my controller closer to the mic. See? I'm leaving a little bit of an input delay between doing down back and doing forward and triangle or whatever, you know, the input for the move is. And again, I'll try doing it. See, like I did that hella slow. Down back, forward two. Down back, forward two. You have a massive window to pull this off and the command throw will still come out. If you start doing the practicing like this, doing it really slow and then slowly speed it up, you're gonna find that you can become fairly consistent with this. I would say that this is something that if you play one of these characters and you want to do a lot of these command throws, I would always recommend going into practice mode just for a few minutes. Maybe do 10 on this side and 10 on this side before going online because it just takes a while for the muscle memory to kick in. Okay, so that's one of the things I wanted to talk about. The second thing I wanted to talk about is the concept of tick throws. So basically, a tick throw in most fighting games just simply means doing something and then going into throw after, whether the move actually hits or doesn't hit. It's essentially a mix-up. So you probably saw, if you play online, a lot of people do this. They down one, you block it, and then they go into a throw. A very effective tactic. However, there's one problem with this. These throws can be teched. If your opponent is sharp and they guess correctly, they will tag these fairly consistently. However, the same cannot be done with command throws. And MK allows characters to tick off of certain moves. 
So basically what this means is if I do a down one and I go into Kano's, I think this is called lumbar check, it will hit. So if the opponent is blocking, this will always hit. The only thing they can do here is jump. Jumping will avoid it. However, just think of how risky it is to jump while your opponent is constantly down wanting. Again, if you check out some of the characters that have command throws, they will all have moves that they can take off of. I think Kano can also do it. Yeah, off of down three. Again, very effective. Especially since his down three is uh, decent in terms of range. Yeah. Kano can also, I think, get it off his no not standing one. He can get it off of his two four. So this is a pretty powerful mix up because the guess here for the opponent is are you gonna do this and go into command throw or are you just gonna continue the string and the string actually leads into a full combo of course I don't play Kano so I don't know uh, what exactly you're supposed to do with him but the concept is still there uh, that this is a very powerful tool that you have available especially since again since these types of command throws do hella damage, maybe your opponent won't be so happy to take them. You know, the thing about normal throws in this game is that you can take quite a few of them before you start feeling any kind of real damage to your HP. This amplified, yeah, that hurts. That hurts quite a bit more. Now, of course, the thing you have to practice really with thick throws is that the input here needs to be a lot faster than if you were doing the throw out in the open. So what I would recommend is definitely get comfortable with doing command throws very quickly out in the open and then go into uh, practicing for thick throws. Again, the best way to set this up is set your opponent to block all, down one and just do it if you were canceling into a special move. Like I could do this as well, uh, but instead I'm doing the command throw. And again, a ton of characters have tick throws. Uh, Baraka, I know for sure, in that command throw variation. The Collector has it. Yeah. If you play one of these characters, definitely try implementing this tactic into your game plan because it really is helpful. Yeah, see? Just did a combo there. And you, this is kind of just comes down to experimentation. All characters have different stuff they can tick off of. So really it just comes down to going into practice mode and uh, seeing what works and what doesn't work. Also, this is just a recommendation, a good trick that always, I find, always catches opponents off guard is going into a command throw from a jump in. You have to delay it a little bit, so this doesn't tick, but if you jump and then execute a very quick command throw, it's most likely going to hit. So that was just a little kind of tutorial video. Uh, the reason I wanted to make it is because, well, I actually really enjoyed uh, the command throw variation of Kano. I think he was called Commando in MKX, even though I don't play Kano in this game, as you can clearly see by me dropping everything. I think this is something that's still worth exploring. It's a very interesting tactic. It's kind of unique to MKX, the tick throw mechanics. So definitely try it out and mix them people up online so anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like thanks for watching make sure to subscribe if you're new here there will be more mk stuff coming in the future but for now i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here thanks for watching guys and goodbye